Good morning and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have filmed a vlog and I miss it tremendously. I am excited to be vlogging today. Uh, today I'm going to be canning tomatoes. My tomatoes from my garden have been going crazy. Um, I already canned my spaghetti sauce. I don't think I'm going to be canning any salsa for this year, but I do need to do pizza sauce and then hopefully I will have some juice left over from the batch of pizza sauce that I make because I'd like to can some juice as well. Um, we use that to make like, soups and all sorts of fun stuff during the winter, so I, uh, I definitely need to do some juice as well. So processing my tomatoes has pretty much been the only thing I've put on my list of things to do today because I don't want to, you know, overdo it. I feel like the JRA in my niece has been healing and has been definitely improving. I have much more energy than I would have had even two months ago. I'm setting low expectations for myself so that hopefully by the end of the day, I'm not totally whipped. <laughs> but I mean, we all know processing and canning tomatoes is exhausting, so I mean, I'm gonna be tired either way. But anyways, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Miles is still asleep. He's sleeping in this morning. Me and Callan just had breakfast. I'm also doing some laundry this morning and I mean, taking care of the boys is pretty much a full-time job, so anything else that I accomplish today is a win. playing outside um, but Miles just got up and you guys aren't gonna believe how grown up he is he's been walking and he has a few words and he's just he's gone from a baby to a little boy it feels like and <laughs> he's so grown up but we're loving this stage so much oh my goodness him and Callan are best friends and that is everything <laughs> that I hoped it would be. Um, their relationship is so fun to watch. I mean, obviously they fight like brothers. They're brothers. Um, but <laughs> when they have to be apart or if one of them is like awake while the other one naps and they can't play together, they just get bored. They have no idea what to do with themselves. It's, it's been a really fun stage. It's been, it's been a little bit sad for my mama heart to watch my baby not be a baby anymore, but this next phase excites me even more, so I mean, I can't complain. <laughs>
So once the boys are changed and they've had their breakfast and they're kind of settling in to play, um, I'm gonna get started on my canning. And so the first thing I have to do is collect my jars from the basement and bring them upstairs and run them through the dishwasher. Um, they're always clean when I put them down there, but you know, they collect dust and I just like to run them through uh, the dishwasher before I put food in them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. The next thing I will do is start washing my tomatoes. I usually wash them twice and then I will cut them uh, into just, you know, relatively large chunks because it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna be cooking them long enough to soften them so that I can run them through my Victoria strainer, which I will show you in a minute. <laughs> I am so sorry, but I don't have a recipe that I can share for the pizza sauce that I am making today. I'm actually using a recipe from a cookbook. If you have the Hope's Table cookbook, um, it's the pizza sauce recipe from that book um, but i don't have permission to share the recipe so all i can do is tell you that the recipe is in hope's table cookbook and so far i'm really happy with it um this is my first year making this particular recipe and it turned out fabulous so yeah i will probably be using it in the future The boys spend countless hours cleaning this particular cabinet out and I normally don't let them do it, but on this particular day, you know, I needed to be canning, I needed to have my attention focused elsewhere, so I was like, you know what, this keeps them happy and entertained, so it's a win. <laughs> time for lunch and it is their favorite time of the day. I had made a roast for dinner the day before um, and so I just reheated it, chopped them into small pieces and they devoured it. They absolutely loved it. I appreciate that children don't need anything fancy. They don't need, you know, all the fixins, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> just a good nourishing meal and they're happy. This is kind of in the middle of the chaos. I've got every pot in my home. <laughs> I've got it put to good use today. Um, I like to use the big granite roasters, but I don't have that many, so. Anyways, here I'm running the tomatoes through my Victoria strainer. And yes, that is a drill hooked up to the Victoria strainer. Uh, we have an attachment that kind of takes a lot of the work out of the process, because you don't have to crank, you can use the drill, I know, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but let me tell you, it's the way to go. <laughs> so I just got both of the boys down for their naps and I'm gonna eat some quick lunch, it's just leftovers, nothing exciting. While I keep working, um, mom was done cooking down all of the tomatoes and um, I just have to run them through the strainer and juice them. And then I'm gonna make, I think, half of it into pizza sauce and get that simmering, because it has to simmer for like an hour uh, before I can can it. Um, and then I'm gonna get started canning the remainder of the juice. So, there you go. I love growing my own herbs. It is so satisfying to me. And especially when I'm making something like a big batch of pizza sauce and I have all of the fresh herbs right in my backyard. I don't know, but for some reason it just, it speaks to my soul. So <laughs> here I am picking um, some basil and oregano and a few of the things for the pizza sauce. So here I'm adding the dry spices uh, to the pizza sauce. 
and filling jars. Never mind the expression on my face. I promise I'm actually having a good time. I was just like super concentrated on what I was doing and that pizza sauce was really hot and I was not in the mood to get splattered. So I was like very intently watching what I was doing. <laughs> There's something about editing a YouTube video and going back and seeing the expression on your face and it is humbling, let me just say. <laughs> you know what else is humbling? Having your husband come home from work and literally just jump right in and get started doing the dishes, taking care of the children, cleaning up anything that needs to be washed, or honestly just carrying jars out to the canner doing all the things and he just was the real MVP of the day because by the time he got home from work I was pretty worn out pretty tired and he just kind of yeah gave me my second wind Miles just loves helping in the kitchen and it was so nice that Daryl had the patience and the time to actually allow him to participate I was running here and there and I was too busy and so it was nice that Daryl had the time to um, slow down and enjoy the time with Miles we had homemade chicken alfredo pizza for supper and it's a recipe that I just kind of made up on my own so I don't really have one to share but it is exactly as it sounds. It's just chicken alfredo pizza. Um, it was delicious. And every evening I like to take a walk out to the chicken coop and get the chickens put in for the night and usually Leo likes to come with me. I don't think my children realize that me and Leo go way back, like, you know, way before they were even thought up. <laughs> hear about how irresponsible of a decision this is I have worked my tail off today and so you better believe I'm gonna treat myself my latest kick has been a dr. pepper float it's like a root beer float but like better in every single way imaginable so wrap your mind around how fantastic this is gonna be, especially after a long day of canning. I am nearly done canning. I have about 10 jars left to can and then we are done. So one more canner to go, then we're done. It's almost nine o'clock, we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it, I don't care. I don't care what your opinion is of me having ice cream at this hour or Dr. Pepper at this hour. Your opinion doesn't matter. And I apologize for not like filming a lot of the actual canning process. It has been insane and I'm actually canning. We have an outdoor burner in the garage and so I'm actually doing the canning in the garage and so I've kind of been in and out and in and out. I just, filming has been difficult. So anyway, um, I know I have 30 pints of pizza sauce and I need to count. Daryl, do you remember how many quarts I said I got of, I have about 10 pints of juice. Do you remember how many quarts of? Of juice? Yeah. Okay, so then 18 quarts of juice and 10 pints of juice. So, not bad for one day all by myself. I can't honestly say that I did it all by myself because Daryl got home from work about 4.30 and he has helped me consistently ever since. So, can't take all the fame and glory that comes with doing that much work in one day. Feast your eyes on that beauty. I know you want one right now. What? It's such a dumb drink. Dumb? It's not, it's like nine o'clock at night. If it were a root beer float, this would be acceptable, wouldn't it? I'm gonna try. She's had these like daily for the last couple of days. This night, it's like nine o'clock at night. She's gonna be raving till like one in the morning. So she's gonna text me at work like, I'm just really tired this morning. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna be like, oh. <laughs> That is genuinely awful. No, it's not. It's that is so really good. bad. This is life. That is really bad. I don't even mm. like root beer floats that much, so. So good. This is living right here. I have actually been thinking about this all day. <laughs> I was like, if you can finish your canning, you get to have you get to have a Dr. Pepper float. Even if it's nine o'clock. I will not be judged. I will not. I will not feel shame for my my decision. Anyway. So I think I'm gonna be done vlogging for today, um, but I'm kind of throwing around the idea of vlogging tomorrow as well. Tomorrow's gonna be a very casual day. Quite the contrast from today. Today has been 
physically and mentally exhausting and vlogging on top of it has been a lot. So I am pretty whipped, but tomorrow is a pretty chill day. I'm really excited to just have a more relaxed day with the boys. So I might take you along for tomorrow. So see ya, see ya soon. Mm. It's like, it's almost like being an alcoholic because this is the best I've felt all day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll edit that out. <laughs> can you hit my uh, can you can you reach the, the off? Nothing below. Nothing above No matter how low I get Lord, you are enough Nothing can separate me from your love Nothing can separate me from your love Lord, you are king of I'm here to give you everything It's my whole life that I am for you I give it over to the King of Kings I give it over to the King of Kings Nothing before me, nothing in my past Even in the storm, Lord, your peace surpasses Nothing can separate me from your love Nothing can separate me from your love been having the most relaxing and slow paced day today. It has been absolutely wonderful. It's easy for me to feel like I'm just really slacking off on days like this, but you know what? We really we really kicked it out yesterday, so I'm trying not to to feel too guilty about just taking it easy today. <laughs> It has been raining most of the morning. I think it's finally kind of letting up. Um, but it has been raining most of today, and the boys have been begging to play outside, and it just, they can't really go out, it's raining. So they have been going a little bit stir crazy, but it's okay, I didn't have a lot on my agenda for today, so I actually just sat on the couch and held Miles and played with Callan a little bit. It was it was just perfect. I'm just really glad I got my canning done yesterday. So I am making an apple crumb loaf, I think it's called. I don't remember. I just saw this recipe on Instagram the other day. It looked yummy, so we're gonna give it a shot. I'll put the recipe in the description box if you would like to try it as well. So wrapping up this vlog, I wanted to include some footage of our evening at Costco. Um, we don't live super close to a Costco, so we only go maybe like once a month, um, sometimes more, but it's usually pretty infrequently. Callan was intrigued that they have all of their Christmas decor out already, and I am still in denial that summer is over, so I was like, nope, not even gonna yeah, look at it. <laughs> Why is the Christmas stuff out? We're like three months away from the boys absolutely love that they have free samples and they will find the sample carts and we'll try all the things. So, you know, it, have you even been to Costco if you haven't tried all the samples? <laughs> oh, oh. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was 
relaxing. Have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Should we go take this up and get our hot dog? Come, let's go get our hot dog.